Okay, so I'm gonna do something. It is September 11th, uh, 2016, and I'm in my building here. Oh, the sun is awful bright, so I'm gonna put my glasses on, but I just wanted to share a little story uh, about September 11th. Uh, I was watching a little bit of the boob tube last night, and uh, I really got to do something about that. It's not suiting too well, but maybe that. Uh, September 11th, um, 2001, uh, I just want to share my little story about where I was and what I was doing, because I know that pretty much anybody that lived through that day uh, remembers exactly what they were doing, and I just thought it would be interesting to for everybody to... Uh, you know, to hear what my story is. Um, on September 11th, the morning of September 11th, it was a cool, crisp morning, morning, and that is the truth. It was like one of the first mornings that you had to really wear a sweatshirt to to go out and uh, uh, do some work. So, uh, this tractor behind me, the 4320, that one right there, that was a tractor that I was using. Uh, it had a front-end loader on it, and uh, I was really only into the mulch business a couple of years. Um, I started in 98 as my first year in the mulch business and you know of course 2001 was you know four years later. And I was still using antiquated equipment um, you know because I really wasn't that big into it and I had gone and collected uh, some bales of hay that were I remember I had 16 bales on. It's really kind of weird uh, that I can remember that but I had these 16 bales on and I, I picked them up uh, my dad and I had gotten into a slight argument in the morning, you know, while we were milking cows, and I just was, was like, fuck this, I'm out of here, and I, I jumped on the tractor, took off over to Baptist Town to pick it up. So I come back in, and I'm pulling into where the hay pile is still at currently, and dad came in behind me, and I thought, uh-oh, he was driving his uh, 19, what was that, a 91 Ford F-350 with a 460 in it. He says, hey, you gotta come up and look at this. Somebody just crashed an airplane into the, into the towers. And of course I was like, what, are you kidding me? And he says, yeah, they think it's an accident. I says, it was no, I knew like right away, that's no accident. That shit don't happen. I mean, the, the last airplane to crash into a building over there, I believe it was the Empire State Building. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it was the Empire State Building. Uh, was an accident uh, af just after or during World War II. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I came up and I walked into my parents' living room and sure enough, uh, right at that moment, the second, the second airplane smashed into the second tower and it was just chaotic. I mean, really, I was glued to the boob tube for at least an hour and a half to two hours before I actually had to come over and feed cows and, and my aunt and my uncle, who are both now passed away, uh, they died in 2011. Um, but they're both passed away and now, and uh, they were here. And we watched a little bit here at my grandparents, uh, at the farm here where my grandmother still resides. She's 91. Um, and then it happened. The, uh, the tower collapsed. And I remember the sinking feeling uh, my sister called. She was working in Newark, New Jersey. She worked at the UMDNJ uh, in blood research for the Navy. And uh, she had called and on a landline because, you know, the, the tower that was on top of the, uh, the, the second world, you know, trade, tower, trade center tower, that, was, that tower was a cellular telephone tower or microwave tower. So that was all, everything was screwed up. But she called up and she said that she had seen... Uh, something burning when she went into work, you know, into into Newark. So, you know, so she was pretty close to it and watched a lot of the the chaos there uh, as it as it unfolded. But anyway, that was just my uh, my story. Now here it is, September 11th, and uh, it's 15 years later, and it is uh, actually a cool, crisp morning. Not it actually started out really hot this morning. I got up and went outside and it was steamy and sweaty and nasty. But now the wind picked up and it's cleared out all that humidity and uh, yeah, it's uh, rather a nice cool morning. So that was my uh, experience on September 11th, 2001. Uh, of course, you know, the days after I even thought of joining the military and going and killing some of these pool starters. Um, but you know, 
is what it is. Um, I, I just, you know, I still feel, I still feel angry about it. And uh, you know what really angers me more than anything is that our current regime of politicians that are in control down there, uh, and the one that wants to get elected, that dirty, rotten, hairy, see you next Tuesday, uh, is just, it just blows my mind that people only 15 years later can be so forgiving of the, uh, of the, uh, the terrorist groups that are out there uh, that stemmed from these endless wars uh, that we have been in for the last 15 years. Uh, it's kind of disgusting, and uh, they're, they, you know, the, if Hillary Clinton gets elected, then we're going to have, uh, you know, literally hundreds of thousands of r Syrian refugees that are just going to infiltrate our country and amass, assemble, and uh, attack us again. And uh, so vote Donald Trump.